Hey, what's up guys? I'm Phoenix Bruno 7 and today I have a little, a new little tutorial for you. Uh, last time we created this beautiful thing, the nuclear reactor, and today I'm going to show you how to password protect a door. Um, you may password protect a door for many reasons. You may have a secret chest in there you don't want anybody to see. Obviously, on a world, like if you're on a server where there's no griefing, you know, uh, this is, uh, but no yeah, where there's no griefing, but no way to secure um, chests and whatnot. This is a great way to keep your stuff secret. You know, stop people from nicking your stuff. Or if you just want, if you're on an open server like the server I'm on, um, with a few of my friends, the MJ, etc., and the Jordy, um, we are a we're all a group of friends. But there are some people that uh, like to mess around a little bit, <laughs> mentioning no <their own> names, <coughs> Mark. <coughs> Um, <laughs> I password protected the, the door on the nuclear reactor because I knew he'd go in there and I knew he'd want to have a look around and he would change something and he would destroy our world. So I password protected it. Uh, it's a very simple little program um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. There are other reasons why you might want to do it. You know, you might just want to just have a cool password protected door. Um, there are other ways to extend this. I'll go on with those later. Um, I will show you it working first and then I will explain it. Um, so when you come to the computer it says this instead. Um, usually it will allow you to type other things but you know right now you've got nothing so you stick in any random combination of letters and words and it won't work. Even if you type in the right password but without a capital letter, no access. But second you type in the correct password, boom, access granted. And now you get to keep your stakes to yourself. Um, actually, I should have thought this out, actually. That should have been one wire just so I could put a button on there. No worries. Because we can do that. Right. Five seconds may be a little bit long. Um, let me just... There we go. Um... The, right, what I just did then was I held down Control and T, which in Computercraft, which is what this mod uh, uses, uh, Control T terminates any currently current program, so you can then carry on with the normal Computercraft terminal. Um, so I can show you what to do. Um, I will put in the description a an extra line of code that you can type. I'm actually show you it. Yeah, I'll probably show you it. The, that you can type to to prevent the Control T from uh, working, but if you forget your password, if you get the code slightly wrong, uh, once you've initiated it, you then literally you have to destroy the computer and write out the code again, or hopefully you will have saved it to a floppy disk, um, and, but you'll still have to re-upload the program, Just so make sure you get it right first. Um, now, I actually use the startup program for this because this machine is literally only going, this computer here, startup is is unique to each machine so you know I stick down at a different computer I've got a completely different um, startup so the startup is only used for this door so I edit that one that way when the computer is turned on the program loads straight off the bat um, this is the code um, for those of you who just want to copy it pause the uh, pause the pause it now and um, write down that and then let me scroll down so Pause it, and then in a few seconds, unpause it, and I'll show you the rest of the code. All right, it should be on pause by now. That little bit at the end. You have to have the end on it. The end on the end. Um, let me see if I can actually. I really want. To, oh, never mind. Don't want to be doing that. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Completely messed that bill. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the the bit on the end. Um, for those of you who actually want to learn. This code, this language is written in Lua or L U A. Uh, Google it, it's a fairly old language, it's, you, it's beautiful language, very, very simple, fairly obvious really. Um, it's actually one of the last languages I learned. Um, I learned C sharp, C uh, before that, um, Visual Basic before that. Um, but Lua is a very, very nice, simple little, little code. Uh, well, little code. And I will now. I'll go through it line by line if you're interested um, so you can learn. Right, 
basically what we've got here so far is we have local side equals left right local is to declare a variable we're calling it side and we want to assign it the value of left so it's local that's what you you know, you know it's the, the type of variable that you're describing so it's local so it's only to this um, current function this current program side is its name the equals to is then saying yo I want to call I want to put this value left in the variable side simple local password equals boobies is exactly the same um, then we move on down to write write is a simple um, piece of code it literally just writes whatever is in the speech marks next to it so it just prints out to the screen there is another uh, way that you can print information out to the screen that is by using the print function but I prefer to use the write because the, the print one has a bit of a syntax error sometimes when you come to using the brackets it, it requires whatever you write to be put in brackets and sometimes it gets a little bit iffy shouts at you you know it says that it's expecting um, I think it's semicolon in Lua that it, re that it requests or is that C sharp oh, I've got so many languages get confused but yeah basically write writes whatever is in the in, in that so you can change that to you know enter password here you know you, you can modify this to any way you choose um, then we go to local input equals read so we're now expecting um, we're set, setting a new local variable called input and we are assigning a value which will be read from the keyboard right? that's what the read open brackets open um, quotations X I said no, it's not X it's um, a star it's, star technically means wild card but in this case it's from a keyboard input so we're setting a value which will be decided later um, by input um, into a value called input. Next line, which is there, we are. This is a simple if statement. We are simply checking if input, which is the variable we declared earlier, is exactly equal to password, which is the variable we set up earlier at the top, which is boobies. So if input is equal to boobies, I, if the password that the person has entered is boobies, then then we will do the next line. Uh, actually, next few, next few lines up until the else statement. If we have one, if not, then it'll think, uh, finish at the end. So if password is uh, boobies, then it will clear the screen. Term dot clear um, is simply just to clear any information off the screen. So it's a nice clean blank slate so they can't see your password. Um, write again just a simple write statement write access granted then we get down to rs dot set output side true rs is redstone um, set output is literally just to it's the uh, function within that within the redstone um, uh, function actually wait I'm sorry bad terminology yeah um, so it uses the redstone function and a part of that redstone function is to set the output so it calls redstone function rs dot set output then it, its two input uh, variables will be the side and a boolean expression true or false side is using the variable we declared earlier which will be left so if the password is correct it will write and it will also set the redstone output to the side which is left to true so we will get a redstone output to the left simple as that that's all that all that bit does and I made it sound a lot more complicated but if you want to learn you got to learn so it pumps a redstone output to the left as we know if you put redstone into an iron door or a reinforced door it will open it then goes down to the next line which is sleep for five seconds the variable um, the function sleep literally pauses any current state that the computer is in or the redstone output as well so basically everything just stops exactly where it is for five seconds then it resets the uh, it actually sets the output the sets the redstone set output to false simple so door opens five seconds later sets it on to false OS reboot so that the program restarts all over again to get it ready to the next person sticking in the password or if you want to come out again whatever it may be um, OS dot reboot is literally reboot operating system there's also uh, restart and shut down so our OS dot restart will simply restart it instead of reboot it so it'll just uh, instead of 
a reboot is like turning it off, then on again. Restart is sort of different. It keeps certain memory, so variables will be kept. Um, say if you have a temporary uh, variable set up, it will remember it. Whereas a, with a reboot, it won't. It'll, same as a, a normal um, computer, it, certain things can stay in memory if they're told to. Um, now we get to the else, where if if the password, if input is not equal to um, pa to password, then it skips all of the code above that and it goes to this. Term dot clear, as we know, clears the screen. Write again, as we know, simply kicks an output to the screen saying access denied. Sleeps for two seconds. OS reboot. End. End is very important. If you don't end it, the program won't know that the program has actually ended. So it'll kick up, kick up, kick up a bloody fuss and it'll shout at you. Simple as that. So when you've typed all this out, you then press Control to access your menu, hit Save, Control, hit Exit, then type Start Up, and then you, you are good to go. Let me set date time again. So there you go. Password, uh, oh, access denied, wrong password. Password of boobies, yeah. And we get steak, woo! Yeah, get my steak home, get my steak home. My steak. I still have uranium. How would you look at that? Boobies. So, there you go, folks. <laughs> simple. Sorry, I made it actually a lot more complicated than it is. Very simple piece of code. It takes two minutes to write. But great for, you know, for bugging Mark, essentially. Because uh, he wanted a password on his door, but I wouldn't write him it. And then, just because, you know, I'm a git, I'm, I'm like that. Um, so then I wrote everybody else's password on their door, so he couldn't go anywhere. And he didn't... <coughs> oh, my apologies. He didn't um, didn't make a proper house, so he ended up sleeping under the stars. Because, you know, I'm an asshole. So there you go. There's um, the second tutorial in my very 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 plain but coming along tutorial world actually spawned right next to this village if you if you want the uh the seed for it it's simply stone actually so there you go uh i hope you enjoyed hope you found it useful uh please check out my other videos uh well you know a thumbs up would always be appreciated if uh if you don't mind a simple click and i will bring you more tutorials at a later date so thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.